everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, I have a very special guest today. This is her fifth time on the show. She comes on every year on her birthday, and she started doing that the year the show started, which was 2020. So this is her fifth appearance. Please welcome Elizabeth Manser back to the show. We call this the birthday show. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I only come once a year, Chef AJ. Thank you. Well, that, well I, it's a good thing you're not born February 29th. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to wait four years to come on again. Four so years, that's too long, yeah. If you uh, haven't seen her other appearances, guys, there's four more in the, on the channel. Really wonderful recipes. And why, why do you want to spend your birthday with, on Chef AJ Live? Well, hey, it's the best birthday. After all, I get to cook. I get to share my uh, my passion. I get to do so much. And I think this is it. Um, and then after that, I can celebrate my birthday. But here is number one. First, oh, nice. first stop here and the second stop and third stop I do further. Yeah. Now, <laughs> they always say you should never ask a lady her age. But do you mind telling the audience how old? 74 okay. today. Yeah, you look, it's like you're aging in reverse, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey, you know, it pays off when you take care of yourself, when you focus of, on health and wellness. That's important. So and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the message that I have for everyone at my age. Um, and if your birthday today, please um, join me and happy birthday to you as well and welcome so i am so happy you are here joining me on my birthday uh to celebrate it thank you so much uh so here i am still my feet on the ground i haven't fl flown away to sky yet <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> um so i am i am very very thankful for chef aj first of all i want to thank you so much for having me and getting that spot for me every time i appreciate it so much and congratulations on your book. I cannot wait for it. It's oh, not thank coming you. until August. So thank August. you. Yeah, shameless, shameless plug in case this is the first time people are watching. <laughs> I have a new book coming out August 27th. Save your receipt. We'll be sending you over a thousand dollars worth of bonuses when it comes out if you pre-order, because pre-orders are very helpful to us. Yeah, and you know what? I have pre-ordered and it's not coming until August, so I can wait. It's okay. Because it's who doesn't like dessert? Oh my goodness, especially if it's healthy like yours with no sugar and all that junk. Oh yeah. Thank I you. can't wait for it. So I'm going to probably make it on the next year I am coming on because I have your book here as well. The 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 one I got before. Okay, so here it's me. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I adopted for, at my age right now, I don't care what people think anymore. Isn't that something? We all have worry, you know, um, what people want me to do. If I have to follow rules and regulation and stuff, yes, in a way. But right now, I don't give a huh what people think. So I am focusing on my health. I own my body. I own my soul. I own everything. So for me, it's take it or leave it. <laughs> uh, you know, the attitude I have now. So as I'm growing older, and we all do, it's like we shift. All of a sudden, we shift to something different. So I adopted four uh, pillars of life that I put together for myself. And believe it or not, number one, number one, is laughter. I mean, I love comedy. I'm always laughing. I'm always smiling to people. And they go, what are you smiling about today? I said, for nothing. <laughs> just just so. I love to um, um, laugh. So before I go to bed, I adopted this uh, tradition that I want to laugh before I go to bed. So when I go to bed, then I feel better. It's always that way. If you want to do that, uh, try it. Try it. Just try it. And it's good. The second one is uh, keep moving. Keep moving. I think movement is so important to uh, the whole um, body, not only for my health, but also for my mind, for my mood, for everything else that goes along with it. So moving and it's exercise is important. Um, eating well, <laughs> that's a huge, that's a big part of living healthy 
uh, and reaching 74 and until now I don't take medication believe it or not you know at my age there are lots of people take medication however uh, oh and the fourth one is um uh, what is the fourth one I that um uh meditation because I I am like you chef Asia I cannot sit still and think of one thing all the time just to breathe well I find out that if I do a breathing along with the meditation and the music, those are, those are things that really makes me meditate. Amazing. It's changed. Um, I meditated in the past. Um, I even went to Deepak Chopra many, many years ago with um, all his uh, uh, seminars and everything, but I couldn't, I couldn't sit still. So, uh, but anyway, I'm that way. I love to laugh and that's important. Exercise, eat well. I'm doing it all right now and I'll be doing it forever. I'm not going to change. And Thank I'm not going to change for anybody. <laughs> Any of so, your friends or family follow suit? Unfortunately, the, word, the, the answer is no. <laughs> I hate to say what? that. I hate to say, I wish they do, but they don't. I mean, everybody's life is different. Even if we are siblings, um, you know, it's you can, actually the, the family members are the hardest <laughs> to make some changes. Yeah. I can, I can change my neighbor. I can change my friends. I mean, not changing them, but showing them how I am a good example. They love my family, love me no matter what, but they don't follow suit unfortunately so that's a good question <laughs> um, what else okay so um so i did my journey since i saw you last time chef aj um we all have obstacles we all have hiccups right in our life we're not immune from having any of those and it happened so i had a hiccup this year um, and it was, I don't have to bore everybody about it, but quickly I have, I have combat inflammation in my body that was, um, going and, um, um, most of my doctor did not know. I've seen so many and it looks like, and it's not like acute one that you feel it. It's like in the body, it slowly linger. And so I decided to make some changes in one, a few things. And oh my God, it changed it huge. And I'm going to go over that with you, how to make what I've been drinking every day. You have to be consistent. If you're not consistent, you cannot make changes. You cannot say it did not work. It works. It just takes a little time and you have to be consistent. So uh, the the one I wanted to show you here, oh my God, Jeff AJ, this smells amazing. Uh, everything I, I um, when I buy like packages, I put them in glass. I like to put everything in glass. So, but I, I always keep uh, what it is. So this is organic elderberry. Okay, you can get it anywhere. And it's also berries are very deep purple. Chef AJ, hear that, very <laughs> deep purple I, I know you like that <laughs> and um it's so good and i'm going to show you how to make it with a stick of cinnamon that i've been drinking a daily um and oh my god this is amazing because it's immune booster uh, it's healthy it's um it gives you all the antioxidant you need for the day only just drinking from that believe it i researched it and it was really on, on the money the other thing I like, I want to share with you how I combat the inflammation in my body by 80%, 80% um, is those two little fingers. I call them fingers. <laughs> they look like fingers. So it's a uh, fresh ginger. Okay. And I, I buy organic as much as I can. And then this, this uh, another finger here that looks exactly the same, but it's turmeric. And I recommend highly the fresh turmeric. Now I'm going to, and lemon. I've been making them daily, 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 daily for over three months. And then I took a test and it was shocking. Shocking. So take a look at that vibrant, pretty color. It's just amazing. 
Um, and then um, don't be stingy on ginger and turmeric. You know, you can make you can make a lot and keep it in the fridge and you can drink it every day. And of course, lemon. This is, oh, cayenne pepper. <laughs> um, I do also love cayenne pepper. I just started uh, using it lately. I never used to like spicy food. Chef AJ, all of a sudden, I love to have spicy food. What happened to my body? I have no idea. <laughs> but sometimes our palate changes. You know, I used to only like sweet things, and now I prefer savory things. Yes, but I love spicy. I'm putting that on it, almost everything. I love it. So um, with that, I, I let you know this is my journey from last year to this year. I want to share it with you and and my, you know, the audience who are listening today and I thank you for listening and if you want to take any pearl of wisdom from this you, you can leave it or take it it's okay but I am sharing what happened to me so if you want to embark on something like this go ahead uh, it's not going to hurt you even if it didn't help it will never hurt you okay shall we start with something yep. really can't wait to see what you're gonna make okay so I have a quick making easy polenta i love polenta it's it's really satisfying and it's delicious um and this is organic non-gmo i please do not buy anything corn with non G, uh, with other than non-gmo please please because it is really not good for you so i have two two types that's how much i love them i make different things with them all the time but this oh. one i'm gonna make it quick go ahead no, you, you're using the tubes. Those are great. You can get those at Trader Joe's and I've seen them in different flavors. Well, you know, no, the Trader Joe's stopped them for a while. I don't know what happened. So I stopped buying them. I find them at Vons, but I find them also at everywhere, everywhere else. And now they finally start getting them back. It took a long time. So I like to make a quick pizza with these. Um, and um, if you want to buy the herbal one, uh, Chef AJ, this has a garlic and basil in it. So it's already built, it's already in it. So you don't have to add things to it. So what I'm going to make is Italian pizza for you and it's an appetizer or you can have salad next to it, it's a meal. That's just easy. So I am going to show you how to make it. First of all, this is a tube, so you can do whatever you want with it. Sometimes I crumble the whole thing really good and mash it and, and um, put it in the oven and I put like um, uh, whatever I want on the top and bake it, like mushrooms and onions and garlic, and I make that too. So, but this one is easy. Someone's asking what the ingredients are. Ingredients, I'm going to show them right now. Yeah, in the, in the, no, but in the polenta tube. Okay, so this one, it has, um, it has uh, garlic and it has basil. That's the herbal thing. You can buy herbs in them already. Or the one I like also, oh my God, I like the um, uh, tomato, um, uh, sun-dried tomato. Some of them have sun-dried tomato in it too. So you don't have, this is plain, totally plain. So you can add whatever you want to it. And um, so I'm going to use the one with herbal today because it tastes really good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to chop this evenly. It's in a tube, so that's it. And so what we're going to do is quickly, we're going to have to cut pieces of it and I'm just showing you how many how big it is and I think you don't have to have it too thick but this is okay that's uh, very good all right and then this one to make probably about depending on who you're inviting is it for you is it for everyone you can make a lot of those this will move probably 10 or 12 pieces of pizza and I'm going to make eat it eat it today or invite somebody to eat it with me. There we go. I like that they're small because they're like individual. They are, yes. Let me show you. It's it's uh see, it comes like 
I always take the bottom off and I do something else with it, but these are the ones like that, see? They're like round circle cylinders like that. So that's how it looks. And now I'm going to take each one of them. First of all, I'm going to put them in the oven quickly for like maybe five minutes or so to cut, warm them up before I put all the stuff on the top, the pizza that I'm making. So if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to just go to the oven. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll entertain the troops while all you're right. fine. So, yeah. If you guys go. have any questions for Elizabeth, just type them in the chat and she'll be happy to answer them. Have you guys eaten polenta before? Do you like it? I've, I've used those tubes. They're, they're, I didn't realize Trader Joe's wasn't carrying them anymore, but I think you can get them at Whole Foods. I've seen them. But it's really easy to make polenta anyway. It's just basically you take the, it's kind of almost like cooking oats and it's just with water. So. Yeah. Super easy. Yeah. Okay, voila. I'm almost done and I'm going to put it on 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, let it go. And then after that, um, I'm going to put all the topping on it. And the topping is going to be. It's going to be um, tomato paste, one of my favorite, I mean, tomato uh, sauce, and it has only three items in it, and it's uh, rojos, I love that. I'm going to put on the top, and then I'm going to put chopped um, olives, which I chopped them myself, it's Kalamata olives, and then a little bit of uh, capers on the top, yum, and then, um, Normally, I do have um, pine nuts, but it's I'm out of it, and it's so expensive nowadays. <laughs> it's like small little thing for like, what, $12, $15. So what I'm going to put on it is some, something else. It's, um, um, I mean, you can put whatever you like, or you don't, you don't put anything. You don't have to, really. It's good by itself. But I like pine nuts the best but I'm going to put just what I have here. And then we're going to uh, let it uh, toast a little bit more so it gets a little crispy. And there you go. So we're wait while we're waiting for this, I'm going to talk about how I combat inflammation with cinnamon and elderberry. You know, elderberry is very famous because it's in almost lozenges. It's on a lot of things nowadays. But when you get it pure like this, organic, you can make a lot of stuff with them. So here we go. Um, I have two cups of water, all right? And I'm going to add two tablespoons, where's that spoon? Two tablespoons of that berry, elderberry. And we're getting older, so we call it elderberry. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to put the stick of cinnamon in it. This is big, so I'm going to cup, cut it in half. And those things, oh, it's yummy. You can have it cold or hot, whichever you like. You can actually have it uh, cold with ice, like um, iced tea. Uh, but this is way much better. So I'm going to boil this for a little bit. And once it starts boiling, I'm going to simmer it down to uh, about for another five minutes and it will be done. So it's another thing I'm working here in the back, if I might. Is the oven that you put the polenta in, is that a Breville? Yeah, this is Cosari, Cosari. The Cosari, it has everything, you do everything. You know, I used to have this uh, uh, individual, um, what do you call it, the uh, air fryer. Mm -hmm. I had to throw it out because I read so much about it's toxic in it. You know have you read about that, Jeff Asia? No, I haven't, but but you're so, that looks like the Breville Smart Oven Air, but you're saying that's a different brand. That is cool, sorry. I'm just talking about the individual one that I used to have. Yeah, yeah, past. so so what did you I do about that? Because it has a lot of, it emanates too much toxic from them. It's a Teflon or whatever they have inside. Um, I read so much about it and I said, ooh, I don't want that. <laughs> so I tossed it out and I got this instead. It, it, this has everything. It's just a little different than the individual one. 
All right. So um, if anybody have any questions, please let me know. But I'm going to proceed and go on with the next thing that I'm going to be doing. Yeah, it's funny. I don't know if you ever saw a, a movie from it was a black and white movie with Cary Grant called Arsenic and Old Lace. It's a really funny comedy, and they they used to make elderberry wine. That's when I think of. Oh, them. really? Oh, oh, I'd love to see that. Just yeah. so, just so I know that I'm doing the right thing with them. <laughs> Thanks for telling me, Chef AJ. Good okay. movie. If you guys haven't seen it. Well, yeah, that would be good to know. So, um, the next, uh, the next one, I'm going to have to do it, but I'm going to have to wait because. I need the oven, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it right here. And the next one is going to be that I call it shawarma because all the spices that I'm going to be using, it's used in the shawarma, which is a street uh, food in the Middle East. They use it a lot and they are, they love it, uh, but it's meat. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to just veganize it to a different uh, way of eating it so uh, cauliflower whoa cauliflower you, sure, you can do so much with cauliflower from rice to steak to <laughs> it's so much I mean it's really it's versatile you can do so much with this so I have a cut let me show you here make sure this is on cooking and the other one is already doing so um, I am using the cauliflower as substitute for any chicken or meat. It's uh, used in the, in the shawarma. Um, and I'm making them the size, the small sizes. So I cut the uh, cauliflower into florets, but each one has to be smaller than, you know, uh, try to make it even. If not, it's okay. So this is the size, it's good. And um, you cut them all up. Once you cut that, of course, you have to uh, take the stem out. You don't want to put the stem. You want to make sure it's only, it, a little bit is okay to keep on, but the, the rest is not. So, okay, so I done all of that. So what I did, if you see it right here, um, it's small sizes. However, these are steamed already. I've steamed them because it takes longer time in my oven. I've tried them once before uh, without steaming them. Oh my God, it took forever. It's like one hour passed and still a little crunchy. I mean, not crunchy, but a little hard. So I don't like al dente. I like them really good because we're, we're putting a lot of spices on them. So, and then we're going to add spices. Um, and I have made la, uh, tahini sauce here. The tahini sauce is, um, uh, Chef AJ is going to put all the recipe for you. Um, so if you want to make it, you will have it. Um, it's in the chat, uh, right, Chef AJ? Yeah, so it's going to be right in the show notes. Whatever you sent me, it's going right in. Right, exactly. So um, now please try to do it. It's very good. And you know how healthy it is, um, cauliflower and broccoli or cruciferous vegetables for you. It's anti-cancer and it's amazing for you. Um, I like, I, this is one of my favorite cruciferous vegetables because it's it tastes really good and it's crunchy. I love them raw. Um, I eat them like, oh my God, once I start cutting them, it's like one after the other before I cook them. So this is it. So let me just go back to see what happened here. Okay. All right, it's just telling me have five minutes left. Okay, and then, um, so the tahini is, I make it on my own. It's two, uh, if you want to make a lot, two tablespoons of tahini, which is sesame seed paste. That's what it is. Um, and I, I add garlic, lots of garlic. <laughs> I love garlic because it's supposed to be garlicky. Um, and then lemon, garlic, tahini and I blend them really good it's easy you blend them really good together and then you get uh, tahini sauce so I'm going to uh, uh, put on that first it's going to be at the end too but this is going to be cooked with it so it gives it that taste crunchy with the garlic and everything oh my god it's yummy 
So, uh, and then, you know, Chef AJ, I find this, you told me about this once, the seasoning, uh, no salt seasoning mm -hmm. from Costco. This has 21 organic spices. And I looked at them and I go, wow, okay, most of them I want to put in here is in here. So I don't have to buy each one separate, except three of them that it's not here, which is called for the spices for uh, my shawarma. So uh, there we go. So we'll put this like down. Now it boiled. Okay, as soon as it boils that tea, you put it down to simmer for five minutes and then it's done. So, okay, so let me finish here also. So the extra that I have is turmeric. Um, and I have, uh, let me show you what it is so you can see it. Uh, we use uh, allspice a lot in almost everything. You don't want to overpower it because it's too strong. But allspice is, spice is so good on so many dishes. And then... Um, so allspice and turmeric, what is the other one? Okay, I, I don't know, I put it right here. I want to show you too. It's coriander. I like the co coriander. It's funny, Chef Asia. I don't like the cilantro, green cilantro, but coriander, I love it. It's weird. It's yeah, weird. weird. Yeah, it comes from the same thing. <laughs> that's where it's made from. Yeah. So I'm going to add these three. Uh, extra and then I uh, sprinkle that so I'm going to blend them together I just put them so I can show you what's in there the turmeric is going to make it a little bit um, uh, uh, yellow or kind of um, toasty looking and it's healthy okay and then I'm going to put some of that too it's about a teaspoon that should do it of uh, this if you want to buy this from Costco it has 21 organic spices. You don't really need to buy a lot of things. So I, I like that. I think it's very smart. Costco came up with that. Yeah, they didn't have it for a while, but I've seen it back in stock now. Yes, yes, I've seen it. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to sprinkle that too. Extra. What makes food is spices, guys. Really is spices. Without spices, you can't eat too many things. Well, I, li I like it, but it makes makes a huge, especially if you make it a recipe, spices it is. Okay, so I'm going to mix that together. Mix, mix, mix. So that's what it is. So remember, I put a little bit of tahini sauce and the spices, and now we're going to mix them and put them on air frying. All right, yay. I love my kitchen. I'm always in my kitchen. <laughs> you know, I see people, they have beautiful uh, homes and big uh, kitchen, a gorgeous kitchen. I wish I had that. And, and, and they don't cook. They go eat out or they buy stuff and open the can and eat it. Like, why do you have that beauty? <laughs> Use it. <laughs> It's just like funny. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, we used to live in a 55 and over community and yeah. they, it's like things like the pantries are so small. Cause I guess they just assume that when people are older, they're, they're not going to cook anymore. <laughs> yes, that's true too. A lot of people don't, don't cook. It's like, Oh, I've cooked all my life, but what did you cook? <laughs> you know, why are you, why are you eating out a lot? You know, and nowadays it's expensive to eat out to begin with. So. Save your money and make it yourself. Cheap. Yep. Yep. Um, here we go. So I'm going to take that out. It's hot. It's typing hot. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. So now we're going to put all the topping. Topping, topping. So the topping is going to be, this is for, um, the shawarma. So here we go. So we're going to put a sauce. All we have to do is put it, put a tiny little bit on the top first. I don't know if you can see it. Let me, I'm sorry, I'm doing it close, but it's hot. 
So I am bringing it back. All right. Can everybody see this or no? Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. So I want people to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to also spread it all over the polenta. Okay. So you take one at a time. I wish somebody can come and eat with me. <laughs> well, tell them where you live and some people will come right over, I'm you sure. You know what? I wonder if anybody from San Diego, they're welcome to come. Seriously. <laughs> I love that. That well, happened to me once when I lived in India with somebody who was watching me live and offered to come and do my dishes if I'd have them over for when I was Ooh, that's a great deal. I think I was making the lasagna. It was so funny. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, somebody can come and do my dishes at free. Yeah, come on. Because, you know, I cook, I cook, cook for myself all the time. And people think, like, you know, when you're by yourself, what are you going to cook? You have no idea how much stuff I make. And sometimes leftover, that goes to my neighbor. Sometimes uh, what I do is I freeze them, you know, for next time. And I write the date on them and I write everything. And voila. So actually, this one here is favorite. I have made it to um, as an appetizer to few people that I know. And they said, wow, I never knew to do that. I said, well, yeah, it's easy and it's fast. You know, if somebody comes over and you don't have an appetizer, voila, you can pull this together in no time. Literally, no time. Okay, so I have put uh, that to wonderful tomato sauce on the top. Okay, we're done. This is it. And now we're going to put the top. The difference is, oh, it's hot. I can't even touch it. Okay. Let's see here. So here goes on the top the olives, just a little bit of olives on each, maybe three or four on each one of them. Yeah, Kalamata are the best. Yes, I buy I buy it and I cut it myself instead of buying them cut. I don't like the cut one. People buy them ready. It's lazy because you know why? It they don't taste the same. Seriously, this keeps like the the oil inside of them more. The other one are like dried and it has all that um, uh, taste from the. I don't know. It's not. It's just not good. Okay, so here we go. And now we're going to put a little bit of capers, just a little bit to give it a little. This is where the salt comes from. Just remember, it's salty to begin with, so you don't need any salt. Right, Chef AJ? Yeah, I mean, but it's okay, I think, in a condiment like capers. Yeah, capers have a little salt. Well, that's what I'm saying. Those are the, the salt thing that's in it. So here we go. All right, I think we're done. So, oh my God, look how pretty the color, black, green, and yellow, and oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really pretty. <laughs> All right, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put, you can put any nuts. I have pumpkins, pumpkin instead, the top, because I ran out of the pine nuts. <laughs> You can put them out. Pine nuts are really nice on the top too. Pine nuts are so expensive. Um, I just was I was just telling you it. They're like a small little bag for um fifteen twenty dollars. And yeah. uh, if I want to put them on rice or anything, I'll put the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I want to show you how pretty. Seriously, I'm going to get a little closer to show you how pretty before we even put them in. Take a look. Ooh, it's hot. There you go. Yeah, pretty, the colors. Ever, yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, do you ever sprinkle it with like a non-dairy Parmesan cheese or anything like that? Yes. At the end, uh, when I'm done with them, I put it at the top uh, because I don't, I don't, I like nutritional yeast. I rather use that, but I don't have, um, I don't have the uh, vegan one, but the nutritional yeast is going to go on that too. Thanks for asking. That's a great question. Great yeah. question. All right, so I'm going to stick it in now to finish the topping, what we put on. And then we're done with this and ready to serve. 
ค่ะ alright I'm curious why you cook the polenta first and not just put everything on for the pizza and then. Oh, that's. I think you. I think maybe you missed what I said in the beginning. What I said is, if I put them like raw, cold, mm -hmm. it, it takes longer and plus it doesn't get crispy. Okay. So I put okay. it for five minutes first to get it warm and get it crispy. Put the to topping on. The topping is really ready. All of it. Uh, all you have to do is like crispy a little more on the top and you're done. Okay. It takes no time. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Have you tried it the other way though? Just out of curiosity. I did and it did not work well. Good. That's so that's. It wasn't, it wasn't that tasty as I wanted. It was like doughy still in there. Right. I didn't care for that. Yeah. But this yeah. is. Because somebody was asking if they could skip the step to save time. But what you're saying is it won't be as good. Right. No, it's it's better because you will never regret it. It's it's only like five minutes difference. So it's yeah. not a whole lot. Yeah. So um, while well, we're done with that, and um, after this, I, I'm going to show you how to do the drink now. Wow, I'm busy with this now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love getting busy in the kitchen. Love it. Do you cook every I day or? Are there places in San Diego that you, I know that there's a lot of vegan restaurants. I have a. Oh my God. It's a lot. Chef AJ, a lot everywhere, everywhere. Um, you, you can't, you can't, you know, miss that. Remember I told you, I used to take my group. I still do uh, to different places around uh, San Diego. I have a big group that, um, with meetup. I used to go to um, the manager of the restaurant or whatever. I used to tell them I wanted to, uh, bring you a vegan uh, people if you can make the menu for me and they go oh, I don't know about vegan menu I said it's not hard there's no chicken no meat no nothing no fish you not you know no dairy it's not going to be that hard and I said I, I'll be happy to talk to the chef <laughs> that's how bad I was <laughs> and they said okay well let me let's check so it took a little bit but they send me the, the menu if I approve it and they go and I go, wow, that see, you can do it. So I used to take people and I still do once in a while. Now, after COVID, I stopped because, you know, restaurant was not open. Uh, but I like that. I like lots of restaurants here. And now it's even more, even with places that serves meat, even with that, they do it. So, all right, I am going to show you how, let, let me tell you how that smells. It's hard to believe how good that smell this after it's like so good. Take a look at the the power of this uh, elderberry. So I'm going to pour it in here and there is a, a um, oops, there we go. And the cinnamon stick is in there. Ah, believe it or not, I can add to this a little more water if I want and made it another one but it will be not that strong so here we go now this one could be put in a glass of let's see like that and you can drink it hot or cold please do not add any any sugar and I don't care if it's honey I don't care if it's whatever don't this is how it gets going to help you with the inflammation and antioxidant see there it is to your health guys I'm Beautiful. going to sit on this for a minute oh my god Chef AJ please have some <laughs> Make me some. <laughs> you know, my, my one of my best friends, Tim, lives in San Diego, and uh, I can't think of the name of the restaurant. There's a certain restaurant he loves, but I don't know if there's anything you know that I would consider healthy there. Do do the vegan restaurants offer healthy options? Like here, we have a whole SOS free menu and many of the vegan restaurants. Uh, depends on depending on the menu what they have. It depends if if the menu it's added to things they can take it away. If they like, for instance, if you tell them, uh, I'm allergic to something, well, let's talk to the chef who can remove it. Don't put it on like, you you know, oil, sugar and stuff like that. They, they can. Yes, they can. But I don't know how many they can. 
and they cannot. So before I go, if I was you or anybody else, I will ask. I'm coming with my friends or I'm coming for my birthday, whatever that is. But I have a special um, request about the diet that I have. Can you make me something uh, on the menu that eliminate this and this and that? They, they might say yes. Go for it. Nice. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Chef AJ, it, this is good. This is amazing. So four cups of water to two um, two, two um, tablespoons of uh, the elderberry. That's just amazing. So if you want to put ice on it for um, like an uh, icy thing, you can add ice on a big glass and sip on it. It's wonderful. Okay, so we're done with this. I'm going to drink it. It's too hot, so I'm going to wait and drink it later for myself. I love it. Did you see this, Chef AJ? I got this chef because I feel I am a chef now. That's cute. <laughs> it's a chef, cute chef. All right, so what else we have? Anybody else have anything to say? And I'm going from here and on. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about uh, V. Let me see. So here it is. This is all done completely. And I'm going to, it's all uh, spiced and everything. And I'm going to add it to in the oven. And then I'm going to show you, place all the uh, wonderful stuff in here. That's my dog. I thought so. I, I, I thought I, it's not my dog. <laughs> no, it's mine. It's mine. Okay, so here we go. So what else do I have? So let's put that one in here. Okay, Lucy, I heard it, honey. I heard it, baby. <laughs> so okay, here we go. Okay, so this is ready. I'm going to place it on a nice plate with a nice plate. <laughs> so you can add really other stuff to it if you want on this polenta, like a salad or greens underneath it to decorate it. It's pretty. Ooh, yeah, nice. Alrighty, Lucy, you want to see later? I'm going to introduce you to some people. Okay, you stay here, honey. Okay, so just just for the for the um, looks of it, look how pretty. It's amazing, amazing. I am loving this, and I'm going to eat it later. I wish somebody can come and eat it with me, right? All right, here we go. Okay, so one is done. And then this one is going to be in the oven. It's not going to take that long. And then I'm going to put that over. Yeah, the, the, the tray that you have it on looks very similar to the tray from the Breville. Yeah, it does. It really does. Completely, yes. But Hey Lucy, you're on Zoom. Yeah, I I hear you, honey. Maybe she wants to go out. No, I think it, maybe she hears somebody out there that comes on. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, I want to show you something. What you can do to decorate um, when you have somebody coming over and you wanted to do decoration or something. Then one here, here's what we could do. Okay, so Lucy, honey, come on, I got you. So have you have you seen my um uh, have you seen my uh, or oranges that I buy that I put like a mandala? 
Well, you 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 do a lot of art, and you you paint them beautiful. I do. I love I love uh, mandalas. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Okay, so what I do with these is just for the fun. This is Kara Kara. Have you ever heard Kara Kara? It's so yep. pretty. Let me mm -hmm. let me get Lucy here. Come on, honey. I give you some treat. Come on. Come on. Lucy, I have some treat, honey. Okay, good. Good girl. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have to get her quiet so you can hear me. And um, so I like these because they are beautiful and tasty. I know you like them too, Chef AJ. Yeah, and I like blood oranges too. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, these are blood oranges. The one I'm wearing right now, they're blood oranges. This lady makes them. Um, she's amazing and I like her. Um, she goes to farmer's market. I find her in summer farmer's market a lot. So, okay, so what I do with these, I cut them a little bit like that. And I make some uh, mandala out of them. It's so pretty. Okay, so here's something that I have been doing. You can take a look and see. And then I uh, put inside of it, you put like lovely um, different colors. So here we go. I'm just waiting for the, um, the cauliflower to finish and then we're done. So, so something like this when somebody come over and you really want to show them how to make, uh, you know, and then you can add their blueberry in the center. I was thinking putting berries, something of a different yeah, color. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that will be excellent. Okay, so that's something at, at new, um, you know, I started to do it, but I make mandala with them, which I love. Okay, so anything else we can talk about while this is cooking? Well, next year's your 75th. Any big plans? Oh my God. Yeah. You know, I don't feel, I don't feel that. This is the thing about it. I don't feel really that old. <laughs> yeah. So, and you had your birthday, you know, your birthday was amazing. I, I remember you had a lot of people there. Which one? This year? Your birthday. Which birthday? You mean this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, you had you had a big uh, big party at your place, right? Not not a big one. Oh, actually, we had what's called a game party. It was actually one of my smaller gatherings because I wanted a group of people to play games with me. You know, because I love yeah. playing games like boxing. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I saw that. I saw that. So tell me about one thing from your um new book, um, sweet indulgence. What what would you like from it the best so I can make? Oh, um, for your, well, are you chocolate or non-chocolate? Are you like things? I eat, I, I eat chocolate, but I eat chocolate, yeah. Do you like things that are more rich and have like a little more fat or things that are lower fat? Um, I don't know. I, I like the lower fat. Normally yeah. I don't. So, so, so then of, of the categories, because I break things up and even in the book, I break it up to like things that are very sweet, mildly yeah. sweet, uh -huh. subtly sweet and, you know, higher fat, lower fat. So in that case, and this is actually one of my favorites, and it's not because it's low fat, it's just because I love strawberries. I make the rustic strawberry tart as one of my favorites. Oh, nice. I would and love it's to so have that. easy. It's so really, easy. yeah. I, you know, people don't want to really spend hours and hours in the kitchen to make things, you know. It so takes that, like five minutes to make the crust. Really? It's, yeah, wow. It's super, super easy. Yay, thank you. I would like to, as soon as I got it, I wish they I wish I can get it sooner, that book. <laughs> well, um, you can get it two days sooner from a seat at the table, a small independent bookstore in Elk Grove near me. They're getting it on Sunday, August 25th, and I'm doing a book signing. And that that's also how people can get a signed copy. Oh, but I'm not there. I know. I, well, I you can, I, um, hey, you can come up. It's not too far. 
How far is it from San Diego? About. Oh, I, I gosh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I never, I, on an airplane, it's like an hour. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I might like, come and visit you. How was that, Tom? Yep. I might like, come and visit you, Chef AJ. I'll take, I'll take that. All right. So I'm going to just put those, display them here so you can see. That is this one. And then there is an extra one that I made today. This is not in the, in the recipe, but just so you see how pretty it is. Colorful. Yeah. So, and then the next one is going to be coming here. I'm going to put some mac on it. So mac is good. I love some mac. Um, it, it's um, used in Middle East a lot. And then we're going to, you know, this, this, um, the thing I'm making right now, it's normally put on a pita bread, big pita bread. Uh, they warm it up really good. And then add all the stuff inside, the cauliflower and all the uh, trimming and the toppings. And they roll it and I eat it like shawarma. So, but I don't eat really bread. <laughs> I try not to. Um, so especially if I have that much bite, I put it on a plate and I'll show you right now. And it's going to taste so amazing all by itself. Or you can have bread if you'd like to. It's up to you. All right. So here we go. Um, so this is the plate I'm going to put it on. And for the time sake, I'm going to go ahead and I display it right now. It's okay because it's ha you know half cooked already. And I, as I said before, steaming at first is much better because it takes less time. Um, and then uh, I'm going to put the topping, and we're done. How does that sound? Sounds amazing. Excellent. Okay, so. So the taste is going to be amazing, amazing, because it has all the flavor in there with the spices. And I also added the tahini sauce that I made with garlic and tahini and lemon. And oh my God, the all the spices that I talked about, 21 and the extra three. So about 20, 24 spices was put in here. <laughs> it's really good. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and display it now for you. Isn't shawarma usually eaten in a pita bread? That's what I just said. Um, it, 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 it's normally with pita bread, you warm it up and you put the, uh, the, the shawarma, which is I'm doing this instead, you fill it in and then you put all the topping and everything and roll it and eat it. That's, but I don't eat bread that much. So I, I like it the way it is. And it's okay to have it by itself. You don't have to have pita breast to make it really tasty or anything, you know. But if you like bread, hey, go ahead. It's okay, you know. And I, once in a while I do eat it, but it has to be the, the one that is healthy. <laughs> I'm looking always healthy stuff. I, get, I think I'm getting shawarma and souvlaki mixed up. Oh, okay. Sounds good. See. So right now, here's the display yet, but I'm going to top it with sumac. Where is the sumac I put? Right here. And then I have... So here's the go. Sumac goes on the top because you don't want to add it to the cooking. It's nice to have it because it's tangy and it has like a, a lemony flavor. So here we go. And then we're going to have a um, little bit of um, pickles on the top. Cucumber, I love the cucumber pickle, they're so good. But you can have anything like the uh, pepper, uh, pickled peppers, whatever you wanna put on the top. Have you ever tried Salacious from Local Spicery? Because that's made with sumac, and I love it. Oh, yeah, no, I have not. That That's next on my list to do. And so um, I'm going to have a, uh, the top parsley. 
And then I'm going to add more of the, um, the sauce that I made already. We're going to drizzle it all the way on the top, just like they do with the, um, with the sh shawarma. So drizzle it on like that. Oh my God, Chef AJ. Here we go. That looks yummy. So you're just gonna like eat it with a fork. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it like, but it, but this is what I, I call it shawarma because all the spices, mainly the spices that makes it shawarma. And uh, it will be a little uh, more um, crispy because if I leave it longer, it will be crispier. And um, the sauce that I put on the top and then the pickle and then the, um, the parsley, it's just colorful and flavorful and yummy. Well, look how much I have to eat now. <laughs> Sounds great. So I, I, you think you're going to have a birthday cake? Is somebody maybe going to surprise you? You know what? Um, I, I normally make my own, but this year I did not. I figured out whoever wants to make it for me. Go ahead, but make sure it is vegan. <laughs> make sure it's good. <laughs> there are vegan play, uh, vegan uh, bakeries here in San Diego. Lots of them. And so you can order that for sure. What What are some of them called? I, 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 since I do my own, I don't remember, but there's three of them. They're amazing. And you can order online as well, delivered. You know, uh, Whole Food has them. They have lots of uh, lots of cakes at Whole Food, um, and then I find out at Crazy Farms here in San Diego, if you go to the uh, bakery and order uh, vegans and uh, have them bake it for you and put the name and everything on the top, they could do that too. You know, we we are really popular now. Everybody can make things for us because vegan or Whole Food and Whole Food plant based is really. Uh, much in California, especially they, they have no problem really making vegan as well. So I have no problem with that finding it anywhere, but here we go. We have beautiful stuff and happy birthday to me, but I'm not going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> I wish you were, I wish you were my neighbor. <laughs> so other than when it's your birthday, uh, you know, you've been on the show four times before every year since you turned 71, five, five but people time. still love to know what you eat in a day. Yeah, you told me that at one time, and I'm going to go over that once again. Um, not everybody so sees I, every episode, so yeah. Yes, yes. I am not a favor of um, uh, smoothies. I don't know. People have smoothies, and they call it food. Yes, it is a nutrient. Trust me. If I have to eat it, and my stomach cannot eat the digest stuff, I eat it. And I have it in the summertime many times, and I like to put a green and stuff in it. It's true. But for me, I like to eat, I like to chew, I like to eat. So uh, for me, I make the very first thing in the morning, I wake up, I do my exercise, I have that trampoline, I jump on it, I love that trampoline. It's, by the way, that trampoline, um, it's really made me very feeling great because all my um, uh, uh, lymph nodes um, have been really uh, dancing because <laughs> it's you know five to 10 minutes on that trampoline, it's a huge. So I do that in the morning and then I come down. I drink lots of water because I hydrate. Number one is hydration. And then um, and then I don't eat for a while until I finish exercising. I still walk, take my dog out, Lucy and all that stuff. And then so once I'm done, I, um, I'm ready to eat. I come home. I love fruit because that's also hydration. I love fruits. Um, so, and I add to it, um, greens sometimes I, um, uh, chop greens and add it, you know, greens can go with everything. They don't have to be just savory thing. You know, I add apples to a lot of salads and stuff like that. So I like fruit and, um, I put a uh, walnut. I like walnut. Um, walnut is good. I buy the one that is, um, already sprouted um and ready to go so i don't have to uh soak them and, and sprout them because that's healthier for you um uh, and then um for lunch i eat definitely a baked salad if i have any leftovers i eat it if not i make myself big and and this is not lettuce and tomato salad it's everything in it it's like my god it's a whole freaking meal is in one salad 
So I eat it um, and I chew on it. I love chewing and eating. Uh, and then in the in the evening, I make myself a good dinner, whatever they like today. I make this. I make this. I'll eat this. Whatever I have home um, from the veggies, I make sure I eat um, legumes, uh, nuts, seeds, um, grains. Um, I eat all those together. You know, in one day, I make sure to eat all of that. So that's what I eat in the day mostly. And if I have people coming over, I make extra stuff different, of course. So. Yep. Do you still play tennis? Oh, yes, I do. I love tennis. Tennis, I'm loyal to tennis. Now it's pickleball go all over. I and mean, I'm okay with that, but I do like tennis. Tennis is everything for me. So, um, and I, I hike. I love hiking, go different places in San Diego hiking and sometimes a little further away hiking. Um, and then I do the trampoline. I'm active. I'm active in my community a lot. I do everything. They have everything here where I live. So I don't have to travel too far to do things. So it's nice. So that's what I do. That's why I'm staying healthy at 74. Coming up 75 soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Elizabeth, thank you so much for your no, thank you. for healthy eating and, 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 and healthy aging. And you are aging in reverse. If you don't believe me, watch the, the previous four episodes. And thank you for spending your birthday with us every year. Thank you, Chef AJ. I love you and you take care. I hope all goes well with everything you're working with. And you are the champ. You have actually uh, changed my life in a lot of ways, especially about around uh, uh, SOS free, you know, because I didn't know before. I used to be junkie vegan and whole food plant-based become the exclusively one for me now <laughs> well it's working it's magic thank you so much thank, thank you, you everyone for coming i appreciate yeah, it we, i'd sing you happy birthday but then when you do music on youtube you get what's called a copyright strike because, it, it, you know and especially if it's a i don't think happy birthday is copyright yeah it is actually that's why so many times on television shows they sing for he's a jolly good fellow instead but right. I, I'm mentally singing you happy birthday <laughs> thank and you, so much. you have a great rest of your day. And thanks all of you also have a great rest of your day for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time for Dr. Nikki Davis and Plant Fuel. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.